Hello and welcome to a new video. Um, so in today's video, I want to make some more newborn headbands and then use them during an actual newborn session. So I want to make the headbands with some dried flowers because I think that's really nice. So I actually went to a store and I got this one and it's a bouquet of Dutch grass. It was um, $6.99. So I'll be using uh, this one. So yeah, it's a newborn girl who's coming in today and the parents have chosen early tones um, as far as the colors that they like for their newborn session. So I want to create some headbands in the early, to early tones because I like those myself as well. But I also want to include some color. So yeah, I have some old ones that I just picked out of my own dried flower bouquet. So I got some purple and uh, this one as well. And then like a few weeks ago, someone sent us some really nice uh, post uh, and this was included as well so the purpose of this is that you use some of the dried flowers and put them in these like glass tubes and then keep them next to the card or put like another photo inside but before I'm going to do that I'm going to steal a few of these beautiful pieces to use them for my newborn headband so here you can see them up close so we've got some baby's breath and um, some lavender and just some other pieces of beautiful colored uh, flowers. Uh, what else do you need? I have a uh, hot glue gun here. I actually got a new one because the one I had was leaking a lot. It was a bit cheaper. This one is still cheap. I got it from Action. But they had two types and at first I got the cheaper one and now I have this one. It's from Firm. Um, so be careful, it gets hot. Uh, I'll be using an old uh, t-shirt tank top, uh, but you kind of like need this like trico cotton, stretchy cotton material, scissors. I'll also be cutting a piece of my backdrop to use that uh, as my, my base for the um, headband. So I'll be filming while I'm making the headband, then I'll film during the actual newborn session and um, get my bangs and then show you the final images and camera settings and behind the scenes uh, video clips. So yeah, here you see some of the backdrops that I have. So we'll probably be using um, one of these. Like this will be too thick to cut off a piece. This is like not the right material, uh, but this one I can definitely cut off a little bit and then use it for my headband with the base. So yeah, usually when I order uh, backdrop material, I'll just buy it by the yard, by the meter in this case. And I order like either like two meters and then it's like one meter and 40 centimeters wide. Or I order a meter and a half because a meter and a half I can have enough for my um, uh, posing table. I used to blow my shell um, easy table. But okay, so this is not really straight. Let me see if the other side is better. But I always have too much if I order two meters, so I can always cut off a little bit for a wrap, or in this case, headbands. So I'm just gonna cut off. Um, like what's nice with the trico that when you pull it out, you stretch it out. This is stretchy in two directions. You wanna make sure that it's nice and stretchy, um, that it curls up the edges, so better cut it a little bit too wide uh, so you have time, if, um, space to uh, paste your stuff, and then when you pull it, the edges are gonna curl. Okay, so at the moment I have cut a piece that is about like four centimeters um, wide, and then for now I have it like let's say 52 centimeters long, and then I'm just gonna like pull on it, so I can kind of see. Look, it's curling up. That's what headbands do. They curl up because it's like stretchy and um, it's trico. So in this case, I'm just gonna stretch it a little bit to see which way it's gonna curl. It's gonna curl on the inside, which is nice. And then I can even like cut it thinner, but for now I need some space as well to, cut, to paste on my um, dried flowers. I can always like put a piece of hot glue here and then paste it on there. So it stays together, but actually just by pulling on it, it already looks kind of quite nice. So yeah, these headbands should never be on the baby's head while you're not watching the baby, holding the baby. Uh, they really 
are not for everyday usage and uh, are only pretty much for photo sessions because they can pull off parts otherwise they can end up in their mouths they're just not safe to use unattended so it's really for photo sessions and not for everyday use you kind of have to feel how the flower is moving because this one is not moving that direction but it is moving this direction so of course the head will be round so if i do paste it on there it needs to go like this way it's pretty much just cutting off pieces pasting them on there maybe i'm just gonna cut the headband a little bit smaller because it's maybe still a little bit too chunky this is actually not really the right color for this green okay so i cut this off another <laughs> backdrop so yeah, if you're looking for nice backdrops i would say go to your local fabric market and look for maybe organic cotton stretchy um both directions stretchy that's the best in the other direction let's see what happens if i pull on it first i pull on it i'll give you the measurements so this one I cut like two centimeters wide and like 31 centimeters long. And then of course, if I pull on it, there you go. Um, later, I wanna use like a slip knot, but this actually feels really nice. Um, and it's gonna like fold inwards. I'm just gonna tie like a knot from one side around the other one. I can now adjust the size because I have made like a slip knot. So it's just like an, one knot around the other string. Um, so I can adjust the baby size, but it's super nice and stretchy. Okay, so I would say also get some extra uh, glue sticks because that thing just eats the first two ones that come with it really fast. And get like a little plate underneath because it can start dripping, or at least my other ones were. I think as soon as you plug it in, it starts heating up. Look, I already have both of the glue things in there you can also use a piece of burlap to paste it like on there if you want to like a more like a bigger chunky headband i actually have these like balls that i have these flower crowns on so i'm just going to use one of these balls to post it on it. and of course i hope i don't glue it on there So this is the first one for now. I just want to make a few. Um, I don't know if you can see, but it's just a little mixture of some baby's breath and some other uh, pieces. I'm gonna cut the part where the flowers are not on the backdrop a little bit smaller. So it's not as chunky here and on the other side. Uh, but I'm gonna keep it like this and then I'm going to create a few more. So of course they're super delicate and um, you have to handle them with care and store them with care. So I might keep them separate from my other headbands. Yeah, make sure that there are no glue strings still attached to that because that's always a bummer when you work with hot glue. I'm just going to cut it a little bit smaller. Okay, so this is it for now. Uh, of course, it's better to cut it already like small and then a little bit bigger and then small again before you start pasting it on because now I was like losing half of my flowers, uh, but it's okay. So I might <laughs> glue that on there. Um, yeah, maybe they only last one newborn session, who knows? So, there you go. Okay, so I'm gonna make the next one and I think Maybe not all around, but just like these pieces in the front are enough for me. So let's make one with a piece of fabric from the t-shirt. Cause it's just, a, it's a clean fabric, but it was just not wearable anymore. As you can see, it's folding inwards, which is fine because then you get this beautiful round shape. And here it's a little bit thicker, so I can start 
putting the flowers just on that area. This is just very simple and sweet, very neutral in colors and just glue it on there as much as you like. It is moving still, it's not as flexible but that's okay because it's already bended a little bit. Now just tie it in the back and it's just in the front of the head which if it's not all around like a halo you can have it like more tucked away in the back and it won't hurt the baby. Of course you can have it as a halo and place it on top of the baby's head. But for today, I'm going to use it like this and maybe later I'll make different ones. So here you see them all three. One a little bit more color with the purple, one very basic, simple, just leaves. And the other one uh, like neutral colors. Uh, I might have to remove some of the glue strings. But And if you don't have a ball, you can just have like a piece of cardboard and have them around it. Or it's a little balloon. Or you make like a paper mache ball for some... Um, newspaper and like the glue around the balloon and then you pop the balloon and then you have the ball uh, you can paint it white and then you have your own okay so here we go so we got the headbands ready I have this as a first backdrop some wraps let me just put them on the chair here I got some outfits ready that we can use super cute um, and of course more to choose from later my light, the sitting corner for the parents. I'll move my light out of their way a little bit. Here they can sit. Uh, if the mom wants to wear one of my dresses, she can, of course. Here we have another decor. Changing table, welcome sign. And then toilet and kitchen, everything's behind me. So we're ready to go. Okay, so the girl is coming today. She is two and a half weeks old and she was born four days before her due date. Um, I know that they had to stay in the hospital a little bit longer, but um, yeah, I don't really know the story behind it. But of course, we'll take it very slow and gentle, make sure it's warm, have like white noise, noise on. Um, posing table will be vibrating a little bit. Got my Westcott 15 inch softbox with the speed light inside. I got my Nikon C6 II. Um, and I've got a Godox trigger on there, which is the X2T. I got the 24 to 70 millimeter lens uh, with the adapter because it's um, a lens I already had on my Nikon D750. And this is a mirrorless camera. Um, I'll put the camera settings on the photos and I'll set to wait and see.
beautiful girl. Um, we use all three headbands. Uh, of course, I asked the parents if they like headbands. And if they do, I also usually take some photos without headbands. So some with, some without. So we have a nice mixture. But we used all three, so that was really nice. Um, so yeah, she stayed in the hospital a little bit longer because she was spitting up her food a lot. So I had to be careful um, not to place her in positions where her food could come up. Um, but we did some photos on the head, on the hands position, the mama position, the side position, and then the prop. And then they gave her feeding, um, but then she preferred being held up straight a little bit longer. So we took some parents photos and then that was enough. Are you gonna make some? Let me know in the comments. Uh, or tag me on Instagram if you make some, because I'd love to see them. So yeah, I think they look really pretty, super easy to make. Hot glue gun, uh, some stretchy fabric, and some dried flowers. Maybe I'll make one uh, for myself uh, to wear during a family photo session or for my daughter, so I'll make them a little bit bigger. Of course, they're, of course they're super fragile. Uh, they can fall apart and uh, never have a baby unattended with one of these headbands for like older babies like sitter sessions cake smash sessions i wouldn't use these because they'll just start pulling on the headband maybe they'll have it like in their hand really tightly when they pull off the flowers put it in their mouth um so i would say for sleeping newborns they're great for adults or like older children like my daughter's nine tomorrow um fine but um Maybe for like a one-year-old, I wouldn't recommend this. But it was really fun to make. I'm gonna make more probably, maybe some with my daughter as well. Maybe like a halo with like all around flowers. Um, I'm also gonna prep the uh, glass tubes. I have tons left over, so I'm gonna place them inside these. And um, yeah, I'm gonna use these until they fall apart. So, and then I'll make some new ones. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Have a lovely day. Uh, see you on Instagram maybe and thanks for watching. I already said that. Bye bye.